Coffee Chat Day 16, I believe. Uh, yeah, grab yourself a coffee, sit down, enjoy the vibe. If it's not day 16, then day 17, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's just like sort of the marker of like, oh yeah, today is that day. I mean, it, I don't even know. <laughs> Either way, it's not a big problem. I'll just fix it when I'm uploading the video. Not that I'm gonna edit the video, because I don't do that anymore, I'm too lazy. Uh, but, you know, I'll, I'll change the title to the right day. So I won't lie, uh, today has been kind of a failure. Like, you know, it's uh, 4 p.m. right now, so I can still, like, come back, but... Woke up at like 10 a.m. Uh, latest I've woken up in like the past bit. I'm looking at like the habit tracker, but you know, I don't track my sleep on that. But yeah, no, it's been like the latest I've woken up in a while. So, you know, it's like kind of sucks, but hey, like it is what it is. I haven't even done like any of my other habits. I just like, if I'm being real, I've just been fucking wasting away right now. <laughs> hey, you know, like some days you'll have down days and like, that's fine. I suppose like, in the market that I'm trying to get into with like these YouTube videos it's like you know people tend to look down on you know having like bad days and I I get it but at the same time like it's a natural part of life to you know just some days you're not on your game uh, my nose keeps getting blocked I don't know why but yeah, some days you're just not on. Some days you're just out for the count. That's okay, because you know... Oh, some days, like... You do need to rest. You do need to recover your mental and your physical and, like, you know, everything. So, you know, some days you will be out for the count, and there's just, you shouldn't be too hard on yourself for being out for the count. Just some days you just need to rest. Speaking of resting, I'm probably going to be taking a few days off the gym. Like, I, I've said that before in one of these videos, and I said, like, oh yeah, but I'm probably going to go back to it anyways. And that still holds true, I will probably be back to it tomorrow. But I have like this weird pain in my left wrist where whenever I was curling, it would just hurt. Like it would just hurt my wrist. Every time I put the weight down like back on the rack, it would hurt. And, you know, I don't know why that is, but I'm, pr I'm just hoping that like resting will recover it. <laughs> because I, I don't know what the problem is. I'm probably not going to go to a doctor about it. Because that would require effort. And, you know, I, I just, I have faith in God that I will be healed. So, you know. Like, I was feeling it yesterday. Like, trying to feel out the bones in my forearm. Just to make sure. And, like, it felt different to my right arm. But that's also because, like, my right forearm is a little bit more muscular because of reasons. And, <laughs> you know, it's like, I don't know. Hmm, that, do that doesn't feel right. I'm just moving it side to side and not really... Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> That's just how I tend to tackle, like, injuries I have. Uh, on, uh, just checking to see if my... If I track the smoke and I have... 
Yeah, so whenever I experience like an injury from weightlifting, I just tend to like honestly just lift through the pain. And that that's worked for me so far, but I probably shouldn't be chancing it because I'm I'm getting older. Like I'm I'm getting older. My bones are starting to hurt. You know, I'm probably going to like have arthritis by 30 if I'm being real. But hey, you know, it's like whatever. <laughs> Also, I saw one of my videos just start popping off out of nowhere. And I I talked about that video yesterday. And I was like, oh yeah, th this video is getting like a bunch of dislikes. Probably, you know, not a quality video. And then just out of nowhere, boom, spike in views. Dislike to like ratio is like pretty even now. I don't even know what happened. I don't know why that video blew up so much, but... Hey, it is what it is, and it's kind of funny. Uh, we hit 20 subscribers, too, so thank you. Thank you all very much for watching these videos and, you know, want to subscribe and see more. Uh, I hope I can keep delivering, like, the content that you want to see. So, yeah, you know, it's it's pretty fun. YouTube uh, just randomly recommended me Dungeon Synth out of nowhere. Apparently it's like a genre of music. I've never heard of it before. Listened to like a few albums. Well, didn't listen to the whole albums. I just listened to like the first song. And like, you know, tried to get an idea of the vibe. I don't think it's really a genre for me. But like, pretty cool that I know Dungeon Synth exists now. And also barbershop core. Like barber core. I think that's another genre that I've accidentally found. I didn't know that existed either. So, you know, that's pretty fun. I've been really wanting to expand my music taste. Because, like, I'm trying to make new playlists for this year. And I don't want to listen to, like, the same music that I've listened to for, like, the past year. Right? Like, every year I want to spice up my music taste a bit. So, I don't know, like, maybe I'll, maybe I'll gravitate towards Dungeon Synth and, you know, just start running with that as, like, my main genre of music for this year. Oh, my tummy hurts. <laughs> Yeah, what else is there to talk about? Um, I've been really watching a lot of uh, this one YouTuber, RT Game. I think he might be my favorite YouTuber now. He's from the same country as me, so... You know, I got stand up for the Irish, right? So, you know, like, it's pretty... I've been watching, like, a lot of his videos recently. Like to write a poem today. I wrote a poem yesterday that, you know, like, it isn't really that good. Like, my poetry skills are not that amazing. But, you know, like, I still like writing poems. Like, it's very fun. Oh. Yeah, I know, my stomach really hurts now. Oh. Hey, I'll be fine. As you can tell, whenever I have. Whenever I'm, like, experiencing experiencing an issue with, like, my body, I just tend to say it's fine and, like, I just go with it. And I think that, like, it hasn't failed me yet. It hasn't failed me yet. So I'm hoping, like, you know, I'm hoping it won't fail me. Because I like that approach. It's a very funny approach.
I think it's just because I ate a pizza yesterday. Like, eating pizza tends to really hurt my stomach for some reason. So I think that might be, you know, cause for concern. Well, not cause for concern, but, like, that could be the reason. Got my cat here with me. Oh, no, she wants to go now. Now that I have acknowledged her existence, she doesn't want to be with you. Hey, get away from that. Now that I've acknowledged her existence, she does not want to be around me. <laughs> well. So yeah, today's been very low energy day. Uh, again, haven't done like even my mental health habit, which I'll probably end up doing after this because you know, like, I, I want to do the habits that I want to do. So, yeah. And this one keeps scratching my face when I'm trying to sleep. Get up to the camera. Cat content. Right. I don't even know why my stomach's hurting. Like I said, like it could be because of the pizza yesterday. But honestly, it could be because of anything. Actually, it's most likely because of caffeine that I've drank. Like, yesterday, I really, uh... I didn't overdo the caffeine. I had two cups of coffee and a monster, but, like... I wouldn't say that's... Excuse me. I wouldn't say that's, like, overdoing it. I wouldn't say that's overkill. Coffee's done. So yeah, a little bit of a lower energy video today. I mean, most of the coffee chats recently have been pretty low energy. Mainly because, like, there wasn't really much to talk about. So, you know, like, hopefully these will get more exciting as time goes on. But yeah, so, that's everything I have to say today. Keep running when no one else is.